हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन टूडे सेशन इन टूडे सेशन विल डिस्कस अबाउट ऑल प्लेन्स और रियाल्स ऑफ लाइफ बिफोर वी स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग अबाउट ऑल द पॉसिबल प्लेन्स और रियाल्स ऑफ लाइफ फर्स्टली लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड समथिंग मोर अबाउट लाइफ इट we all believe that okay we are alive and when we look around other objects like wall table fan we consider all these things as non living so what exactly is there that differentiate us from non living things so basically we all have consciousness and because of the consciousness we feel that we are alive till we are conscious we are considered as alive it means life is just equivalent to the consciousness the moment we lose all consciousness we are just like a dead body so whenever we say life that in fact it means consciousness now we will investigate what are the possible planes of life is there what are the realms of life is there and most of the time in which realm of life we exist means where exactly our consciousness is engaged most of the time so as far as the all realms of life or planes of life is concerned we can grossly classify it into three categories one category is lower levels of life second category may be middle levels of life and third is higher planes or higher levels of life so as far as the lower levels of our life is concerned here there are five levels first level is totally unconscious supposingly if a person is in coma means he is totally unconscious he is not aware of any reality around him so his life exists at the lowest possible level that is the totally unconscious level then next level higher to this is hazy consciousness or void in hazy consciousness the person can move the person can talk person can do something but what exactly is going on in his mind he is not very much aware what thoughts are running in his mind or what emotions are there in his mind he is not even aware of all these things so that's why i have named this level of life as hazy consciousness or sometimes a, pe- a person may feel totally blank no idea he is not having any awareness about where exactly his consciousness is engaged so i have called this level as hazy consciousness or void level of life just next to this is physical or material level of consciousness or physical or material level of life most of the time we exist at this level only in fact most of the people they exist or they live their life at this level physical level of life means when our consciousness is constantly engaged with our with our physical body we keep thinking about physical body we keep thinking about disease and all that so this is the physical level of consciousness or physical level of life or even when we think about any material reality like monetary possession property wealth power etc so this also is the material or physical level of life only we value all the material things because we feel that 
these material possessions are very much important to sustain our physical existence. That's why I have put physical level or material level equally or together. So this is the third lowest level of life where most of the people live their life or they, their consciousness exists. It is just the physical or the material level of life. Next, higher to this is worldly thoughts level. Supposingly, if in our mind no thoughts are going about our physical body or money, material possessions, wealth, property, etc., so we simply are engaged in worldly thinking process. We think about relatives, we think about, about our future plans, we think about our friends, neighbors, or so many mundane things. So, in that moment when we are totally engaged in a thinking process about worldly things, about worldly life, so this level of life is worldly thoughts level. Next to this level is hormonal emotions. What is the meaning of hormonal emotions? See, most of the time, we are having very ordinary emotions like anger, greed, lust, even thrill. So these all are basically operated or governed by one or the another emotions in our physical body. For example, there is a hormone called cortisol. When that hormone hormone is secreted in our body, we are in negative mental emotions, negative mental state. When another hormone, for example, say serotonin is secreted in our body, so we are in a very happy, excited state. So basically all the emotions are just okay governed by most of the hormones. So that's why Whatever the ordinary emotions we are generally engaged in, these emotions are the hormonal emotions. And so this hormonal emotions is the fifth level of lower levels of life. Why I call all these five levels of life as the lower levels of life? Because all these levels are possible in the life of an animal also. Most of the animals, they exist their life on all these five levels only. Now, if you proceed higher, if you go higher, we come to the middle levels of life or middle levels of consciousness. So, in middle level of consciousness, the first level is worldly creativity. What is the meaning of worldly creativity? For example, if you are thinking about decorating your houses, or even if you are thinking about making some realistic painting of a person or some landscape. So this is the worldly creativity. When you are engaged in any worldly creative process, that time whatever the level of life you are having or whatever level of consciousness you are into, this is comparatively better level of consciousness in comparison to all the five levels that we have seen in the lower levels of life. So the sixth level of life is worldly creativity. Next, higher to this level is intellectual thoughts or consciousness. Supposingly, when you are engaged in some philosophic thinking or some scientific thinking or you think about the society as a whole, you think about some philanthropic activities or you think about betterment of the whole humanity. So all this process, when some thoughts are going on about all these matters, so this state, we exist at intellectual thoughts level or our consciousness is intellectual thoughts consciousness. 
Now, higher to this level is consciousness of beauty of nature or any form reality, beauty of any form reality. Now, supposingly, if we are in a garden or if we are somewhere near any ocean or in any, we are near any mountain or in any hill station, and when we look around ourselves, we see the beauty of nature, we see beautiful landscape. And if our consciousness is engaged with that beautiful nature, so that time if you see, if you try to observe the quality of con our consciousness, it is higher than all the so far previous levels that I have explained to you so far. So this level consciousness of beauty of nature this is the eighth level of our life the quality of our life at eighth level it is better than what exactly the quality of life we have in all previous levels now coming to the higher planes of life so far we have discussed eight levels of our consciousness or eight levels of our life. Now when we evolve to further, when we evolve to higher level, the next higher level of our life is higher or abstract creativity. Supposingly when we make a very beautiful abstract paintings or beautiful composition of music, so here in this state our life exists at abstract creativity level. When we are in the process of abstract creative work, then the quality of our life is comparatively better than all the previous levels of life so far I have explained. So great masters, great creative artists, they live their life most of the time at this abstract creative level. Now, if we go further, even higher to this level A, next higher level A, sublime consciousness. What is the meaning of sublime consciousness? For example, if we are just okay, full of compassion, love, we are quite empathetic, this state, is the sublime conscious state. Just imagine, if a person is totally full of compassion for the whole humanity, so in that state, whatever the quality of his consciousness is there, it is very, very beautiful quality of consciousness or life is there. So this level of life, it is the sublime consciousness level of life. This is the second most beautiful or highest level of life. Now the last level and which is the highest level of consciousness or life is, that is the spiritual consciousness. Now what is the meaning of spiritual consciousness? See, when we are in the lower levels of life, then what happen, happens that our consciousness, it is engaged with finite reality. Finite reality or form reality. What is the meaning of form reality? When we look around ourselves, supposingly we look on the wall or we look at a person or we look at, on any object, any article. So that object or the person is having a certain shape certain size means it has certain form. So most of the time our consciousness is engaged with any form reality. Now whenever our consciousness is engaged with any form reality, it means that time our consciousness is trapped or it is confined within a finite area, within a finite shape. So, when our consciousness is engaged 
with a very finite reality or with a smaller form of reality. So that time our consciousness is very low. The quality of our life also is very low. But when we proceed, when we walk on the path of spiritual practices or when we evolve to higher consciousness, then what happens? Our area of consciousness also expands. Our consciousness evolves from form reality to formless reality. So ultimately there comes a state that we are totally conscious, pure, we are full of pure awareness, but our consciousness is not confined to any form of reality. Our consciousness becomes infinite. This is the spiritual consciousness. Whenever we come to this level of life or this level of consciousness, when our consciousness is free from the engagements with any finite reality or form reality, then what happens? In that state we feel that we pervade to the whole existence or the whole cosmos is there within us. Most of the time we identify ourselves as a finite reality. We identify ourselves as a physical body or something as a finite reality. Why? Because our consciousness is always engaged with one or the another form. And whenever our consciousness is engaged in a small finite area attached with some form reality which itself is very finite and very small, because of this we feel in that mental state that we are a finite reality. The moment our consciousness is free from all kind of form reality or all kind of objects which is finite in its, in, in its existence, then in that mental state we feel an infinity within us. We feel eternity in us. In fact, our actual reality is that we all are infinite, we all are eternal. But this reality we can perceive, we can realize only when, when our consciousness is totally free from all kind of form realities. So when we, we exist at this level of consciousness, this is called a spiritual consciousness, the inherent attribute of this consciousness is that whenever we are in this state of consciousness, we are always very, very blissful. Bliss is the inherent reality of pure consciousness, pure awareness. So this is the highest possible level of existence. It is the highest possible level of life. This is the level where Buddha exists. This is the level where all enlightened masters exist. So this is the most precious level of our life, most highly valuable level of consciousness. So far we have seen the 11 planes of life or 11 realms of life. If we have to classify all these realms of life in only three categories, then we can have a short classification of all these realms of life. One realm is cosmic realm or cosmic life. See, in the previous classification, we already talked about a spiritual realm or a spiritual consciousness. And there I had explained to you that a spiritual consciousness or a spiritual plane of life is when our consciousness is free from all kind of form reality. And the moment our consciousness gets free from all kind of form reality, then what happens? We lose all identity of our own existence with our physical body. In fact, we feel that okay, we exist in the whole cosmos or the whole cosmos is within us. Our existence 
basically it becomes infinite. We feel eternity in our existence. So this is the state of cosmic existence. Means we feel that we we have pervaded in the whole cosmos. So this is the cosmic life or cosmic realm. Second category is physical realm. See, because of low level of consciousness, what happens? Most of the time we identify ourselves as a physical body. So when our consciousness is confined within the physical body, that is the physical realm. Most of the time, this happens with most of the people that they identify themselves as a physical body. So in that moment, in that state, we exist at physical realm only. Now third is momentary consciousness realm. See already I have explained this thing in beginning. When we say life, life is nothing, it is consciousness. So life and consciousness both are one and the same thing. Now as I have talked about the physical realm that we think whenever we have to think who we are, what we are, so we generally consciously or unconsciously identify ourselves as a physical body. But what exactly the reality is that most of the time we are not even aware of our whole physical body. We are mostly engaged in a small petty thoughts. When we are engaged in a thinking process or any emoting process, then in that moment what exactly happens? That our consciousness is confined to one small neural circuit which is corresponding to that particular thought or emotions. So, whatever is the object of our consciousness, basically that we are in that moment. So, most of the time, since we are not even aware of our entire physical body, we are aware of only one object of our consciousness and our whole consciousness is confined with that object only. So, in that moment, we are nothing other or separate than that object. So this is the momentary consciousness realm. In fact, let me tell you one thing in short, whatever consciousness is there, that we are. We have so many illusions about our physical existence or, or about our actual existence. So what exactly we are? who exactly we are, we are, this will discuss at length in next or in further sessions. So, so far I have given you two classifications of the realm of life. In one classification we had 11 levels. That was the broad classification of realms of life. In short classification I have given you three realms. That is the cosmic realm, physical realm, and momentary consciousness realm. And in conclusion, whatever our consciousness is, that we are. If our consciousness is broad, vast, infinite, so we have infinite existence. It is very much clear that, okay, we are not only physical body, Mind also is the part of our existence. If our mind is spread to the whole cosmos, so then we are the whole cosmos. This is our cosmic existence. If our mind is confined to one small petty things, so in that moment we are that small petty thing. So basically actual reality is in momentary, in any given moment, whatever our consciousness is there, whatever is the content of our consciousness, that in fact we are. Most of the people or so many 
spiritual gurus they teach you that consciousness is a different reality and object of the consciousness is different reality but in fact it is an elusive idea some people even they claim that consciousness and the object of consciousness are two distinct realities but it is illogical they if consciousness and whatever the object of consciousness is there if they are two totally distinct reality then consciousness cannot cognize the object of its consciousness simply supposingly whatever the object of our consciousness is there if that object of our consciousness is positive then what happens it affects us it affects our mental state and in that moment we are in the positive mental state if the object of our consciousness is negative then that object affect us in such a way that our mental state becomes negative so we or consciousness and the object of consciousness they are correlated together they are connected reality they are not two totally distinct reality in in fact unconsciously we believe that we are having a long duration of life basically we all everything in this whole cosmos exist momentarily they exist in a moment for a moment they appear in a moment they sustain for certain moments and then then they, they, they disappear and this process is continuous since we are not able to cognize or feel the gap between two moments that's why we have got an illusion that we exist in duration the fact is we exist only in the moment let me explain you this thing with an example when you watch a movie so in that movie what happens there are so many reels or so many images are there the images are there of each and every moment and when those images are projected on the screen in continuity then we feel we have the illusion of movement or we have illusion of continuity but the fact is supposingly if we are able to see the gap between two images then we will have very clear idea clear perception that there is no continuity so similarly every moment the whole cosmos it appears it sustains for a moment and then disappears then next moment also same thing happens and this way there is a continuity of appearance sustenance and disappearance since our consciousness is very low we are not able to distinguish between two moments the reality of the two moments that's why we develop an illusion of our continuous existence we feel that okay we exist from the moment when we took birth and we remain there till we die physically anyway about this aspect that what exactly is the ontology of our existence our self we will discuss all these things in length in some other sessions so so far i have explained given you two classifications of realms of life or levels of life in the broad classification i had explained you about 3 uh, sorry 11 planes of life and in the short classification i have given you three planes of life so anyway contemplate very deeply about all this thing and now what is the task what exactly you have to do with this teaching in fact you have to develop your awareness about each and every moment that in each and every moment at which level of life you exist if you really practice this thing and for that i have already given you one assignment if you practice it properly then your awareness will develop to that extent 
that you will be able to see the reality as it is. Your consciousness will be free from the elusive reality and that will pave the path for ultimate freedom and ultimate bliss. So only this much today, we will have discussions in next sessions. Thank you.